Yo! What is up gamers and welcome to Risk Reward Psionic Reroll. This item's real simple, it's gonna charge up when I walk in here, you'll see that. And then to use it, all I gotta do is press spacebar. Goodbye distant admiration, it was nice knowing you. It then enters this weirdo void and I gotta go follow it and get my item back. But I didn't just get my item back, I actually upgraded it. All I gotta do is handle this hard room. AKA known as the Psionic Zone, I'm not even kidding, that's what it's called. That's the best name I've ever heard. And here you go, here's a Psionic Treasure Room with upgraded quality, look at that! And we got this little dude who's holding the item, his name is the Hermit, and we gotta defeat him real quick. I don't actually know what he does, but his, you know, his attack seem not too bad, just a lot of homing. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh-oh. That, that one's pretty bad. Whoa! Alright, never mind. This guy's crazy. Hello? <laughs> None of that. Goodbye. Anyway, we take care of him as well as his little eye. Ouchies. And we get a quality 3 item. We upgraded it from quality 2 to quality 3. So that's the entire idea here. Let me get the soul lilith as well with twisted pair. That would have been sick. I got like some weird mutant spider type thing. That's cool. Basically, we're gonna be going to every single treasure room that we find possible and psionic rerolling every single one of them. There won't be a treasure room that goes by that we won't psionic reroll. Even if it's really bad for me and I don't want to do it, that's the challenge. We gotta. We're gonna see what items we can reroll. Obviously, if we get a quality three, we reroll it. We get a quality four. We can already see how powerful it can be because instead of getting some rando quality 2 item i actually got chili which is huge as well as this little weird reap creep guy who's just going along and shooting people i love him he's like a mini mutant spider a mutant spider familiar needless to say that hermit fight we get every single treasure room i will be a master of that one by the end of this i'll be able to handle that fight blindfolded any percent speed run wrong warp category oh citadel of baphomet as well this definitely helps also really cool how the risk reward actually just gives you a cosmetic. Not a lot of active items do that, so I like to see that. Whoa! Look at that! I didn't know that at all! So it turns out that the uh, psionic zone isn't just a completely separate thing. It's it's part of the map. It's just held somewhere else. They just TP you there when you eventually do it. That's honestly really cool. So my question is, <laughs> my question is, if you have like infinite red keys, could you not just walk your way over there? Interesting. Half eternal hearts become full eternal hearts from the red ribbon. I don't think that's a good as uh, the sigil of Baphomet. Thank you. We'll just take care of the Zingle fight instead really fast. Chili plus the spider going crazy. We'll get our full reward, which is officially a new thing. The Kinda 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 Egg with a special surprise inside. HP plus a trinket plus the most cartoony chomp sound effect I've ever heard in my life. Puzzle piece completes one third of a puzzle fortune. Spawns a prize on puzzle fortune completion. I need to find like all the people. Puzzle piece. You. Uh, alright, cool. I didn't know that was a thing, but that's super sick. Alright, let's go. So obviously I don't really have the most power over this, but I'd love to find a quality 3 item in a treasure room. You can only use the risk reward in the treasure room, so I suppose if I had a d6, I could maybe even potentially re-roll the treasure room into a quality 3 item, then turn it to quality 4. That could have been an order of operations. No biggie, I just need to find a key and get it done. Uh, let's go check this, maybe a crane game? Not the case, and I'm too scared to do that demon beggar just yet. You also notice that I have the no trinket installed. Installed.exe? Hello? Isaac is not a computer processing program. Well, actually, you know what? I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I have the no trinket in my inventory by default. This is something you guys have mentioned and I'm gonna play with it. You guys tell me how the run feels. Uh, but effectively, we're not gonna have any active items show up whatsoever. Since risk reward is an active item, I don't want to take the show away from them. Give me that luck up. I don't know what these things do. I believe they're wisp coins. Hey, you know what? My fiend folio knowledge is is getting better by the day. Little wisp coins do nothing but just give you a wisp on pickup as well as the coin. Nose goblin. See, now this is like the thing that I want to take. <laughs> Citadel of Baphomet is the thing I want to take if I want to win. Nose Goblin is the thing if I want to take if uh, I want to have a lot of fun. Tears oh my down. god, tears down. But with that tears down, I should really take the safe route. Because who knows what kind of damage I'm going to take. Whoa. What's going on here? Sack? Ringworm. Hi! I just took a tears down. What if you walked into a room and it just started whomping at you? What would you do? You know, I'm going to need a key. <laughs> I, I need a key. Listen, I'm not asking for a much, but the whole psionic risk reward thing, I, I gotta get in the treasure room to do it. 
fine. And then when I'm at the very end of my rope, you finally win Shell Game Beggar. I will play you. There you go. That's the good stuff. Don't get me wrong. Shell Game Beggar definitely does things. I don't doubt that. It's more that it just takes a long time. But we're here. I don't know how this is going to work with alternates. Will it upgrade you? Or will it upgrade you? I guess it's going to upgrade you because I can actually see you. Guppy? Uh, no thanks. Oh, I get to choose? <laughs> I'm sorry, that other one was Dr. Fetus, excuse me, okay. Does this mean that I get a, an actual quality 4 item from this? Like, I'm actually gonna upgrade my quality 4 to another quality 4. I'll definitely take it if that's the case, hold on. Hello? Oh my god, he's, he's holding the C-section hostage, you gotta get it! <laughs> This hermit actually can get some pretty heavy hits on me, I'm not gonna lie. But not enough for C-section to escape my grasp. Hello, oh my god. C-section locked in. We also have nearly enough money to go to the shop. We basically do, I'm just gonna blow this up. That's gonna be important and imperative because my HP is low. But things are looking good now, dude. What are you? Oh, secret stash. I'll pick up spawn a coin, key, bomb, and card, pill, slash, rune. At the start of your next run, spawns 10% of coins, keys, and bombs you held at the end of this run. Oh, well that's not really useful to me now. Thanks though. Wow, I can't believe I got hit. That was actually embarrassing. Against Wormwood of all the people? I know people struggle against Wormwood, but I usually don't. That's, uh, you know what? I wanted the next devil deal anyway. We all knew that was the case. Well, either way, point is that we managed to get C-section from the risk reward. So, so far, everything's working out. I do need some soul hearts, though, because I do actually want the next deal. No jokes, no memes, etc. I must be getting in there and figuring out what's going on. Whoa, hold on. Dude, thank God Sigil exists, but it's just not enough. This is one of those few things about C-Section. I really think it's uh, easily one of the greatest items in Isaac, most definitely. But when you have a base damage C-Section with less than average tier rate, honestly, I find it more likely that you're going to get hit than actually survive. And that's not me coping. I swear to God, it's, it's serious. Like, you have such a long charge up, and when it finally comes out, it's not a large amount of damage. It's just, uh, you know, baby's kind of pestering you. But that's my burden to bear. I uh, I will be taking the guaranteed item, please, because I know this item is good and it solves my damage issue despite the speed down. I'm gonna cope to the highest of copes, maybe blow up the keeper and land the deal. We know that's not happening, but maybe. And then I'm still missing a key for the treasure room again. I kind of used my last key willy-nilly thinking, oh yeah, I'll get another key by that point. Uh, I was severely wrong. Yeah, I am uh, a bit low on the key front, but we have a mirror dimension, a whole nother floor. I'm sure we'll be okay. Yep, here I go. Flush in the toilet again. Weep wop. No deal. Yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. Give me the speed up. Make up for the large cap mushroom speed down. And uh, wouldn't you believe it? I actually don't have a key. But again, a whole mirror dimension. Also, probably secret room right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> The world shudders at the thought of how powerful I can be once I remember that I find secret rooms and I don't try and find secret rooms after I've already found them. I have a completely gargantuan bomb stock. Nothing can stop me. What are you? Duds flower. All bombs. Hey, hold on. We were just talking about this. Spawn the player will become copper bombs. I believe copper bombs have a chance to be a dud. Uh, I don't think that's too useful for me though. Sigil, I mean, like, this is the thing, you know? I find Sigil and it's like, well, I'm gonna run Sigil for the rest of my entire life. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of things I would give up for Sigil in general. Not even maybe like a dice bag. A dice bag, it would have to depend on the vibe of the run. You know, am I deciding to reroll secret rooms? Or am I deciding to kind of just play as the lost and go crazy with it? But either way, I would definitely say uh, Sigil, S tier trinket, most definitely. One of the greats. Certainly makes this whole mirror dimension part very easy as well. There's our final key that we needed and we'll be able to check out what we have to do in our psionic zone. After I take this pill, a speed down. Uh, kind of ass, but at least I have basically base speed still. Another flushing moment. And a damage up is great. Now that is what I'm looking for. Ah, poop. All right, what's in here? Finally. Ooh, we gotta use it before they touch me. Oh my God. I don't know if the bulbs touch you, 
and you actually lose out there? Like, does Risk Reward actually get affected by bulbs? But we know Capricorn was on the left. I didn't see what was on the right. But Capricorn is quality 3, meaning we have another quality 4 item coming up. I cannot believe it. I'm excited. I like how this room is designed as well. Like, these rooms. Ow. Whoopsie doopsie. My bad. Couple of bits of damage. Uh, like how they have this fear, and you have to walk in with fear, survive the room for a bit, and then shoot. Because that's kind of how Isaac is balanced. If you're able to kill someone right away, the room becomes way easier. So if you're kind of locked out, room becomes really hard. I like that. Quality 4? Um, well, it sure is. Hi, another fetus item. I feel like I circle shift perfectly there. I can't believe you hit me. What do I... What do I do? <laughs> you? Well, I mean, C-section epic fetus doesn't work. So I think I leave it alone as wrong as it feels. I mean, what else can I do? You know what I mean? Is that wrong of me to say? Can I fight in the other one? Could I have always fought in the other one? Wait a second. Or is it? No, no, no. Because now it's just Epic Fetus. It is just Epic Fetus. And if I enter the left... Oh, I see. I come out the left one. Okay, so it's only the one that you first initially choose. We did get a quality four. It was just unlucky with the one that we got. We can check the curse room very quickly. A black heart on the next floor is good. Maybe finally land a deal for once in my life. Also have a potentially really good shop here. Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? That's 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 a Yu-Gi-Oh. Give me that pot of greed. I summon pot of greed. Uh, treasure map is hype as hell. Uh, and then I will be skedaddling all over to the next floor. I think. Wait, what? These guys create rocks? Hold on, don't kill them. I need I need this guy to create the perfect rock. Go make a rock. No 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 no. C section. <gasps> I guess we're doing it here. No, you idiot! Oh my god. Ooh, hi! That's incredible. This is one of those trinkets. <laughs> this is one of those very rare trinkets that I'm like, yeah, this is actually better. But I think it goes against what uh, Risk Reward is trying to do, so I won't be taking it. Plus a shop. I might buy from you later. Dude, those rock bomb fly things? That guy has polyphemus. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even focus on what I was gonna say. What, what the hell? That guy literally had poly. He whipped out the quality four like it was nothing. He's actually balling. That's crazy. Man, if I... I was trying to say if I had like actual regular tiers with those bomb rock flies, I would have been chilling, man. I would have made the perfect bridge as if I was playing like poly bridge. Well, we get, ooh, host hats quality three. Another quality four locked in. I can't believe how lucky we've been getting. And this is one of the easiest rooms. Okay, cool. Let me use this pill real quick. I can see forever. I'm assuming that supplies for the entire floor because when we use it, we're still on the same floor. Here's the hermit again. We get holy mantle. That will help with me not getting hit by this guy so much. <laughs> Almost happened, but we get our holy mantle. Thank you. So more cash moolah, I'll lock it in. And I think we're finally at a point where things are starting to actually settle all we need is a bit more damage and i think we're set i'm gonna check down here is this my shop it is i am kind of curious i feel like i don't want to go to those two dead ends i've already went to my two very special areas so i might not but it also depends on if i get a key because i need to get in the shop we got a super secret room down here we can confirm that i can see forever what the hell are you definitely applies for the full thing okay let's use context clues he is a smith of some kind a black Smith. He spawned right in front of a trinket, so I'm assuming I give him a trinket, and and then he pockets it, and then that's it, and then it's his forever. Congratulations, delivery service complete. Must have something to do with giving him multiple trinkets, but I don't got that power. Actually, I do? Hold on. I got hella trinkets. I'll be right back after I defeat this boss and get brimstone from the devil. Better not get hit. <laughs> Alright, guaranteed devil. Boom. Torn photo, exactly what we want to see. And is it is it weird for me to say that I shouldn't even go in? Oh my god, I shouldn't. I'm blind, man. I can't. I guess I could have risked it because I would have seen, you know, the heart containers, but nah. I don't know. I feel like a guaranteed angel might be better here. Especially because we have holy mantle. It looks like we're just going full angel at this point. I'm assuming you need three. Maybe you just need two. No, you need three. Oh, you need two! Oh, hey, cool! Trade two trinkets, get one for free. That's awesome. Is it better than Sigil? In a weird way, yeah. <laughs> in a in the weirdest way possible, a plus two damage up is better in my opinion. When I'm running C-section and I need the damage up, putting me over the threshold of seven damage uh, from six all the way to eight is really good. And I have defense. Those guys have Polyphemus again. Did I do this? Sure. Oh. <laughs> what about you? Maybe something a little bit more exciting than that? Woohoo! 
Ooh, that's actually sick. And then another payout, and then I get an item, and then I get boom, reverse stars. I'm gonna get rock bottom, you know it's true. Another shop, another blind, another more options, I'll be taking that. I think that would probably work with risks reward, no? More options giving you more treasure room options. Uh, it just means that we have more of a chance of psionic reroll, giving us a quality 3 to a 4, which has been happening an ungodly amount so far. I mean, my luck in general would already be good. That means I have like three quality threes on the run. But combined with risk reward, I mean, we got C-section, epic fetus, holy mantle, nothing to scoff at. It's just gonna pile on, I think, and snowball us even further. Free curse rooms cause of mantle. Gives us a couple black sacks and a chest, some good stuff here. Random pills, and I can see for the floor and a bunch of tears that we don't need. And a new psionic reroll. Oh wow, these are both quality four. Grants multicolored tears with different effects: hemorrhaging, bruising, drowsing, sewing, critting. I believe this is probably uh, just the fiend folio version of an item that gives all the fiend folio nature effects. We don't need it though, but I'll follow it here. Give me the new quality four. I cannot believe how many we're getting. Not complaining though. Nothing but happiness. Today we get Hamo. That's perfect for synergy. It's just what we need. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that. Maybe you have to make him like chuck it into the obstacle or something. Cause I, other than having more speed, I just don't see like the way to do it. I mean, I'm going around him pretty fast. Uh, it must be some form of skill issue. Shop? Hi. What are you? Beginner's luck, a luck up, but luck down per how many floors down you are. At minimum, we'll grant plus one luck. Is this not just like really good to have? Cause you might as well. I also have this, reverse devil, not too useful. Let's spend some time donating actually. You know, for a good cause and all, AKA my sale. <laughs> Don't need to act like that's going to anyone else but my wallet one day from now. Our babies are far larger, far more effective, 14 base with Hamo synergies. And now I feel like we can really chill we got Mantle, we got Hamo C-section. The enemies would have to have some form of miracle in order to defeat someone the likes of me. The soul heart, the cube of meat, it's all piling on. Let's go. Damn, look how grubby that man is. That man is the Grubmeister. He looks like the, the villain of Fern Gully. Is that one too old? <laughs> am I showing my age by saying that? Or am I showing how young and hip I am by saying that? Yeah, I used to watch a VHS movie. In Fern Gully, it was an old movie about like saving the trees and loving nature and whatnot. And there's a sludge monster that I remember uh, very vividly because he used to sing in a way. I don't really know how to explain it. It was just, <laughs> it was just a way he did. <laughs> I don't know what they were going for, but I don't, I didn't know what to think growing up. But hey, here's another one. Finally, we're out of quality threes into fours and instead we'll take a two into three, which is fair. I can never complain considering the circumstances that led me here. I'm curious what quality three we can get. Obviously, there's some god ones, even for synergies. A mutant spider could drop and I'd be like, you know what? That's sick. Technology? Apple? Apple's good. Apple with our high luck is sick, actually. Synergize nicely with the uh, chili that we have as well. So give me that and I'll move on. Shop. Humble Bumble. Remember what I said? Yeah, that's right. I use you only for my own game. Do I even really need the humbling bundle? I don't think so. But having more items in my inventory is making me feel good. Because it looks like it's a little bit low. I don't know. I feel like I need more of those icons on the right side of my screen. Do you catch my drift? This secret room really didn't give us too much. That's all right. And this gave us a damage and range up, which is a damage and damage up because of our C-section. Also, was that thing called host on toast? <laughs> That's incredible. I love that. It's at this point I have to really discuss with myself, hey, when do we want to use this reverse stars? And I'm not sure when, you know, I don't exactly have rolls. I don't know what I'm waiting for. I guess a secret room restock reroll type deal. It's pretty rare to happen. It's always kind of a discussion you have to have for yourself and figure out the vibe of the run. And if you make a good read, I feel like you can succeed. I'll take a damage up. And then in the angel room, we get rosary, which is basically just a tears up. So I'll take maybe a couple key pieces, maybe a mega Satan fight. Not too sure just yet. Secret. All right, let's commit. I said I would, so we must. Chili's gone and I want to cry. Daddy long legs as a fight today. Well, uh, what I'm more excited for is the deal that I didn't get, but I will be getting on the next floor. Speed up's also appreciated. Let's go beat it, Libs. 
leaning tower of meat over there, I see. That was a cool enemy as well. And we got our It Lives fight right here, which should be easy. I see absolutely no quarrels with life with this one. No qualms either. I'm at peace. It Lives shall die real easy. Goodbye. And there's the devil I wanted with... Ooh. Uh, wow. That's, that's gross. <laughs> That's- that's just not a good time. I guess I'll take too spooky, even if it's not that good. Just to make it feel like I got some value out of this, which I really didn't. Oh well, bye! They know they created that room on purpose. Let's put four Camillo Juniors immediately ready to kill you, and if you don't react fast enough, you're dead. That is an evil room for surely. Goodbye, Fallen. You never stood a chance against me, as well as Satan. Ow. They actually did get a hit on me. My bad. And then Satan third phase should be just as easy, if not even easier. Whoa. Only the slightest bit of dicey. The dice aside, we're good. Let's check out the dark room. This is where we get really broken. All right, the things we've been waiting for. Here we go. Red chest. Not, not it. That's all right. Boom, another one. Not even close. One more. There, more like it. Hold on. Head in that direction some more. Okay. All right. I, you know, that's actually sick. I would say this was increasing amount of importance. <laughs> like this is the least useful. Oh, uh, it's okay. Whatever. Oh, ah, you're not even getting somewhere. No, that's the good stuff. You really don't need a lot of high luck to get Guppy's tail to do what you want it to do. Either way, it's going to increase chest chance by a ton. The extra luck just kind of helps it. But, uh, you know, either way, boom, as you can see, we're chilling. Two, three conjoined already within the span of two rooms, which is why I'm never too concerned about getting it uh you know early on on the run because uh it's kind of easy to come by these days if i'm being real what hi sack of keys question mark familiar that drops one set of spicy keys every seven rooms aren't the spicy keys the ones that are like double but they hurt you whatever i'll take it another chest metal plate i'll take it thank you Wait a second are those little negatives on the ground oh that's cool dude that fiend folly is dope I don't want anything to do with whatever that room was about. <laughs> I saw that lady and I said, no, thank you. Boom, evil eye. I'll take it. It's good. Another one. Trot of glass. Usually I won't take this, but I guess we're just stacking on everything at this point. Oh, you know what? I just saw Keybum go for uh, the, the spicy keys, the double spicy keys. The uh, key sack is actually going to work out for us because Keybum will just take everything without being hurt, I imagine. And uh, we'll just get some chests out of it on the dark room. Sick. Even the rocks have dark room Polaroids on them. What the, what the hell is this? <laughs> what kind of... What? Uh? I think those floors were disappearing as I was walking across them. Let me check this again. Oh my god, what in the... What the hell? What in the Mario Galaxy? That was sick, actually. Final item for the day, Loki's horns. That's pretty good. I think we're good to just close out. I, uh, we had our fun. We definitely checked out what Risk Reward can do for you. It gave us so much more quality fours than I ever thought we could have ever landed. And for that, I have to be eternally grateful because it could not have worked out any better. Actually, we still got Delirium. Uh, so sure, let me go kill that guy real quick. Look how many champions there are. What the hell? I feel like I'm playing ultra hard. Look at this. <laughs> I'm actually playing ultra hard. Ultra hard fiend folio. Hello? Ultra hard er? That would actually be really cool. I, I should do that. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm totally going to do that. Ultra hard and fiend folio. I don't know how to do it, but I'll do it. Now this is totally delirium. What? Hello? This guy hit me with the fattest mix-up. Luckily, even just a few floors ago, I was far less powerful than I am now, so you're gonna die even faster. And then I'll get an HP up. Yeah! Ooh, wow, that sure is useful. Is this room supposed to look like this? <laughs> I can't tell if this is like aesthetic or like something went severely wrong. Like is this like a Gmod room? This is the this is the Gary's mod room when you don't have CS source installed? Uh, Alright, maybe. Hi, how are you? I've been missing you. I imagine this fight will actually go pretty easily just because C-section will make it easy to hit him. I don't really have to aim whatsoever. I mean, we're halfway done. He stayed in that face form forever turning off his boss armor, so things are chilling for us. My speed's pretty good enough to dodge Delirium, I think, and his telefrags. Sometimes they are kind of below me, but uh, overall I think we're good. Whoa! I didn't know he could turn into Fiendfolio enemies. What? That- that's really cool. 
helping fellow enemies that are jacked up and like mowing you down with 30 different moves at once. Deliriumified? That's awesome. I had no idea that was a thing. Goodbye, Delirium. Well, that was risk reward. I'm super happy with the item. And now I know what it officially does and I can abuse it if I ever end up playing more Fiendfolio, which I will. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best and GG's.